Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we start our adventure in Serie B, having progressed as champions from Serie C Group C last season and having brought in some new players and twiddled around. Today is the day we find out whether all that work is going to bear fruit. Welcome to the Sicilian Defence. Welcome to episode 21 of the Sicilian Defence. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, we have games against Por Denoni and Benevento, who we've played once before, um, I think last season in the Fanta uh, Cuppa, and uh, didn't, well, we didn't do badly. 3 2, I think we lost that one, but uh, yeah, um, we have played them before, but uh, Por Denoni. Uh, we have not played before, so we'll see how we get on with those. Uh, we come and join on the uh, screen, on the uh, transfer screen, and the reason for that is because we have had some more transfers uh, whilst you were away. Uh, as you will see, the last player in was uh, this guy, Sh uh, Shek I still can't, Stepovic. Um, and uh, we have brought in Alessandro City. He's uh, been doing very well. He's been on trial with us. Uh, he is a defender. Let's have a proper look at him. He is a current two-star, uh, 19 years old. Two-star, um, no-nonsense head back. Uh, can be a three-and-a-half or maybe a four-and-a-half star potential ability. So uh, he is looking good. Um, we've brought him in. Um, hang on a minute. Uh, I'm just that's what I was trying to do. Uh, he's coming from Milan, he was um released by Milan from their youth uh, outfit, and uh, so he's looking good. Um, there were quite a few other teams after him as well, uh, but we managed to get in in front of everybody else. A couple of loans going out. Uh, Rickis um has gone to Alki, um, here for 1.8 total fee. Um, he is uh, going out on loan. Um, is that right? Loan monthly cost total loan payments ten. I'm sure, that's not the deal that we agreed, but hey, I'm not sure what's gone on there. Um, and Pinto, Giovanni Pinto, we had a promise that we would let him go out on loan, um, so he has actually gone out on loan uh, to Novara. Novara is where he has gone. All right. Um, without that, uh, what else has been going on since you were last with us? I think we were somewhere around here. We'd played these friendlies. Uh, since then, we've played Samban, Samban Tessi, um and beat them 3-2. Magazoo getting on the uh, score list. One of our new players, Pellegrini, uh, uh, Fagioli, um, or Fagioli. Uh, Arezzo in the Italian Fanta second round uh, we beat those 7-2 glorious a hat-trick from Rov Gallier and a hat-trick from Magazoo Magazoo seems to be doing quite well uh, as a starting point uh, and what I didn't realise is having beaten Arezzo on the Sunday we immediately then got drawn against Hellas uh, Verona uh, for the next round the third qualifying round uh, we lost 3-1 to them, Clayton getting the only goal, again, I think, from a corner. So um, a little bit dire, that one. Uh, but So we're out of the Ivanta Cup. Uh, I don't think that affects our club vision, because club vision-wise, I'm sure we passed, yeah, um, because that was what the uh, the board's expectation was, third qualifying round. And, yeah, we went out on the third qualifying round, so uh, never mind. Uh, that one, a bit of a miss. Um, but uh, all said and done. And then we played Preto in our final friendly. Um, as you'll see, a mix of players on the score sheet, a 5-0 win over those. It was a long time um, we were 1-0. And as you'll see, uh, I think 72 minutes was the time of the second goal. And then we just seemed to uh, latch into it and get on with it. Uh, right, so today's game e games are against Padone away. 
and then Bevento at home, Bevento uh, past meetings. Uh, as I said, we have played them once in the Coppa Italia Fanta second qualifying round last season, um, and we lost 3-2. That was at their place. Uh, so we'll see how we can do at our place today. Um, I think there's not much more to be said. I don't think there's a great deal else been happening. Uh, let's get through and see how we can get on in Saria B for this season. And here we are. Here is the team that we are putting out against uh, Pordone uh, for this first game, our first game in Saria B. And uh, as you'll see, Manelli uh, is in goal. Visconti, Clayton, Silvestri and Pavlev are our defence. I am toying with whether Santuro should be playing in goal. Hmm... <sighs> It's one of those, if I don't put Santoro in goal, do I then regret it and wish I had put him in there? Or, the other way around, if I take Manelli out, will everybody berate me? I'm going to do it in a minute. Uh, so it's going to be... Let's do it now. Oh, Let's put Santoro. He did have a good game in that last um, friendly, to be fair. Santoro then, Visconti, Clayton, Silvestri, Pavlev uh, comes in on the right side of defence. Of course, something that Albertini would have naturally been there last season, but the rest looks very familiar. Fagioli in the deep line player maker role in central midfield with Mater alongside him as the Mizala. Them two getting quite a, a thing going on. Uh, Stepovic um, on the left of midfield. He is our first uh, selection over there. Kofi on the right uh, with Magazu and Rov Gallier up front. Just checking that we've got the right... I think we've got the right combination up front there. And then on the bench, uh, Minelli then on the bench now. Uh, Fraro Bagoli, uh, Maserani, Danny Garcia, uh, Albertini, Lad Ladinetti, Comi, Zappella, Golfo, Gatto, Calpai and De Paola. There is only one thing I want to check, and I'm not sure if I can do it from this screen. Can I? Um, no, I don't think I can. I'm not sure whether actually in this um, competition... Actually, we can do it. We can do uh, rules. Um, what we're actually after here is how many substitutes we can have. Um, it's banned. Right, yes. So previously in Saria C, we could actually make five substitutions. We can only make three. Twelve are named, but own, can only substitute three. So um, that was uh, what I thought. So a little bit different in the rules for this one. Okay, so there we go. We'll go on to... I'm going to go backwards. I'm, I'm always already there, aren't I? Submit the team. And uh, coffee, not really 100% fit, it says. Just turn that down, make sure that, because I've been doing some editing. My usual thing that I leave behind. Um, eager anticipation all around here. Uh, we are the underdogs here and suits us down to the ground. Let's go out and cause an upset. Good luck, lads. Go out there. Uh, expecting a win. Let's give the fans good performance. Huge underdogs. So there's pressure. No pressure on you to succeed. Um, let's do that one. And we'll kick off. A lot of games being um, on TV, but um, we'll see how we're doing. Right. Moving the ball around very nicely, which is always always worries me when they move a ball around like this. And Flagley, uh, Fagioli gets in there, but uh, not getting it through to any of our players. And they've got in, and that's just gone over the top. Looks like a power station or a prison behind the goal here on the uh, on the far side. Right, Pavlev with the throw in to Rov Gallier. Back to Pavlev. Pavlev looks for Rov Gallier again, who's gone out on the wing. Mater comes inside. Back to Rov Gallier. 
to Flagioli. And he gets his first goal of the season. And Rov Gallier with the assist. Lovely build-up play from our players. Looking for that little way through. Created the space. Rov Gallier not being greedy, but Flagioli on the edge of the area. And he's good at those. Gets his first goal of the season. And that's what we bought him for. Uh, last season and he's starting to show that maturity now and we go top as it currently stands first game of the season bit early days I know we can count our chickens before they're hatched um, we've only had one shot one on target the goal so we've dropped back down to second I think Silvestri tidies up in defence gets that back to Santuro and Santuro comes out and uh, easy ball to Clayton flag a lake Fagioli rather get this right before the day's out Kofi Kofi didn't get the cross in and gives the ball away nice ball forward and Visconti I thought was going to go for that Clayton tidies up in defence Fagioli gets it forward but loses again Pavlev to Kofi Kofi get round the player Kofi come on gets the cross in and Maytar I think there must have been an offside there or something. Um, didn't quite come off. And they play out from defence. Looking for a way through. Breaking through our midfield defensive lines. Pushing the ball forward. Looking for a bit of space. Half an hour gone. Just over. And... Mm, Tremiloda or Tremilada from the edge of the area, almost a similar thing to Fagioli. And uh, the ball there and Santoro not getting to it. I'm not sure um, Manelli would have done either, to be fair. And uh, I think it's probably time to just say to the guys, come on. Demand a little bit more. You've done well so far. Let's keep it up. Oh, I saw something come up there, but uh, didn't have time to do anything about it. Pavlev with the throw into Kofi. Meta. Meta crosses it in, and a penalty is given. Um, right. I'm going to change the player here. Who's best at penalties? According to this, Fagioli. But I'm going to change it to... Step to Stepovic. And still we didn't get that... Uh, Stepovic and he's put it away in the corner makes it 2-1 two, two, um, and change of penalty taker there I think uh, Fagioli in pre-season had missed one from a penalty spot so I don't know they're very similar but Stepovic getting in there um, and I'm not sure if that came up before the goal or after the goal because I did see it and then didn't get a chance to actually do anything with it I think this one had the team instruction to work in the ball into the box um, OK and they have a free kick which is cleared upfield and they come again Moving the ball around nicely. We've got to be very careful here. Well cut out, but... Uh, and I think it was Clayton put it straight into the path of the oncoming striker. And we're back level again. How frustrating to get our nose in front for a second time. And it wasn't Clayton. It was Silvestri, actually. And um, he's put it wide of Santoro. Santoro, I think, thought he was going to come down his near side, but didn't in the end put it down the right side of him. 
throw in on the far side Visconti to Magazoo. Who I see he's picked up a booking. Fagioli and Visconti working together into the area. Nearly a own goal there. The um, the goalkeeper had to had to be very very quick to stop that going in, um, and we get to half time. Uh, two two seven uh, shots four on target for uh, Pendo poor Danone um, fifty percent of the possession point six one xg uh, we have five shots two on target point nine nine xg and uh, all in all um, not a bad first half we'll uh, go through have a chat to the uh, to the guys and we will come back for the said second half see what we can do in the second half. And you come back for the second half and game underway. They get the game underway for this second half. And uh, the only thing that I think could probably do us in now is tiredness as tiredness creeps in. We need to keep one eye on the key components of our side here. And heading down to 70 odd minutes. Nothing much doing. It's all very quiet in this second half so far. Let's have a quick look with 72 minutes on the clock. Um, Magazoo is just not having a game at all. Now the question is Danny Garcia or Comi um, out of the two players to bring on. My assistant manager is telling me Comi. So let's bring Comi on for for Magazoo, which is a shame because Magazoo has played well in uh, pre-season and he's not having a good game today. And Mata in midfield is not playing particularly well as well. Um, do we bring Ladinetti on for him? I think we do. Now, is Ladinetti best as a... Mazala, it would appear to be. So we'll leave him in that Mazala role. Two on, one left. Get out there and make a difference. Can we do anything here? Bit of fresh feet in midfield. Oh, this look, coffee's gone tired. In fact, I think he's picked up a knock. Um, right, so we need to sort that one out. And that's a bit of bad luck Maserani gonna is the obvious and not too difficult choice to bring on for him and Maserani will give us that little bit of impetus on that right side they have a throw in and don't want to concede anything guys come on please well tackled by Pavlev and uh, that was a Real good tackle. Ball forward. Looking for Comey. Comey. He's... Oh, didn't put that away. And... See, uh, Danny Garcia, I think, probably would have done. Uh, kicking ourselves, not for getting that one away. Right. Uh, Fagioli is tired. We don't have any more substitutes, though. We have used them all up. Have we just? Yes. Um... I'm going to leave it at that because I don't think there's much else we can do. We're not going to concede. It is a 2-2 draw. And all in all, not a bad start to our season. Uh, they had 10 shots, four of which were on target. 0.78 xg, 54% of the possession against our 11 shots, six of which were on target. So I'm happy with that. 1.83 in the xg and 46%. Uh, goals from Fagioli in six minutes and Stepovic in uh, 40 minutes uh, from the penalty spot gave us that 2-1 lead at half-time. No, it wasn't. 2-2 two -two at half-time. Uh, couldn't do much in the second half. But uh, I guess for the first time, everybody finding their feet. Um, and as rightly said, everybody thought we'd been be beat, get beaten today. Um, but we've prov proven them wrong. Um, so happy with that. Um, just disappointed in Magazoo, who I thought might step up for the big game. He didn't do so. Uh, but uh, that's a good start. Uh, in eighth place, I've just realised there is one thing that we haven't done, which we'll do right now. 
um, before we go on any further. Coffee is injured, but only for a couple of days. Um, just picking up a minor injury there, we'll send our assistant to do the team talk. Yeah, the one thing I didn't do, um, and we'll go to here, is didn't look at the um, what what are the expectation. Uh, where they expect us to go uh, we are expected we are 300 to 1 to be promoted um, and worth a pound worth a pound um, and we are expected to finish 20th expected to finish 20th so we'll see how we finish up there uh, Empoloi um, and Spezia are the two teams near the top um, Bevento who we can play next uh, Citadella who were relegated um, so interesting to see. Do we have anybody in the? We don't have anybody in the eleven. I don't think there are a few of the Bembento players there, which is a bit of a worry because we've got them next. Uh, Fagioli in the key players, as is Cap. Oh, that's Capezzi. That's who we're looking at. Fagioli and Minelli. There are the two. Um, components in the uh Saria B uh media 11 so that's uh, how that pans out right um we will move on uh, our next game is against Benvento uh, how did they get on uh, looks like they actually lost their first game they did and they lost it to Lecky or Lecky um however you pronounce that Lecky um so they've had a bit of a a rumpy start um, and we will see a Pimento lost to Lecky at, uh, at home so who knows might be an interesting thing right let's go through to that game the second game of the episode And you come back and join us for the team that is going to play Benavento in uh, Saria B. Second game, uh, Santoro continues in goal. Visconti, Clayton, Farah Bigoli um, makes his debut uh, in centre of defence. And Pavlev continues out on the right-hand side. That's our defensive line. Ladinet comes in as our box-to-box -to -box midfielder. And Mater continues as our Mazala. Um, Menar and uh, on the left wing, uh, Fagioli um, uh, comes in as an attacking midfielder. Just make sure he's right for that. It looks like that's his favourite position. Um, and Mazzarani on the right wing with Ravgalier up front on the bench. Minelli, Silvestri, uh, uh, Stepovic, um, Magazu. Albertini, Golfo, Danny Garcia, Zappella, Giorgi, uh, Comi, City and Rizzo are our bench. Quite an experienced little bench there. I quite like the look of that. Uh, Mena is lacking in match sharpness. I'm not quite sure why. Why are we playing him then? Uh, that's because he got a 7.12 against uh, Stepovic's. I'm still tempted to put Stepovic in there actually. Um, well, let's play Menar for now actually just have a look at if I put Stepovic in there yeah Stepovic is actually the better player I'm going to do that Stepovic, Menar can go onto the bench um, squad number needs to be given to one Menar actually needs a number I didn't realise he hadn't got a number do apologise about that, Mena. Uh, pump fists. Um, we owe Benavito. Go out there and give the fans money's worth. Uh, my assistant is go out there and press me. So that's it. We are on television, so we will get the tunnel talk. We are on how valuable players. Versal Pavlov in your squad. He makes us stronger. He's a great player. Um, but a lot of good players are good players, good manager. Um, no. um, to leave De Fevre out of the starting 11, uh, when can we expect to get his first start for the club? Um, he's been a little short of match sharpness, so we need to work on that before we can expect more from him. 
just the three recent games played obviously that includes the cup one lawn and one lost and drawn one Benvito have won two and lost one that'll be their two cup games I guess that they've won and there is the table we are eighth Benevito 14th not that having just played one game makes a great deal of difference at this stage of the season and we are underway we are playing in our usual blue color they're playing in white and have the early skirmish but Pavlov cuts that out Matar tries to get it forward to Rav Galio, but to nobody and they're in here and uh, Santoro closed him down and he put it wide Thankfully, drop down to ninth now. They have an injury. Visconti takes a punt at that, and the goalkeeper had to make the save. He wasn't that confident. It wasn't going in, to be fair. Visconti with the corner, and it's a headed goal straight at the goalkeeper. We are good from those corners, but uh, they are wise to it change the formation of course this time just match them up a little bit to try and see how we get on Pavlov has now picked up a yellow card Pretty even first half but uh, I mean to say that they've, they're in and it is disallowed he was offside thankfully as that ball was swept in yeah as you can see well offside goodness me which is why Santoro never got to that. As we head towards half time, F Fagioli fires that in, but nobody there. Pavlev calls for the ball. It's left by Mater. Mazarani crosses the ball wide for Stepovic, and Rav Gallier gets his fourth goal of the season, and having scored three in the cup. And uh, he gets the first one for us today. 41 minutes on the clock. And uh, it was Stepovic headed that down into the path of Rov Gallier. And uh, I think um, I feel vindicated of bringing Stepovic on. Fagioli through to Stepovic, who scores a goal as well. One assist, one goal. And uh, I feel more than vindicated on this occasion. Visconti with the throw in, Stepovic taking the ball, passes it to Fagioli, who holds the ball up and then slips it through to Stepovic, who basically sends the goalkeeper the wrong way completely and pops in in the back of the net. We're up to sixth now. Half time has arrived. Two goals in the lead, uh, eight shots, six on target against Benavito's. Uh, seven shots, two on target. We have a 0 0.60 XG against their 0.66. So a bit more uh, ferocious in front of goal, but uh, we are there two goals. 52% possession against 48% possession. Let's go and talk to the team. We'll be right back for the second half. And you come back as they get us underway for this second half. No changes uh, reportedly made at half time. We certainly haven't made any. Uh, but they're in here. Oh, dear, and he's beaten Santoro. So, um, he almost held on to that ball until Santoro committed himself and then chipped it over him. I think that's what happened. And they've got one back literally straight from kickoff. There you go, Santoro. He sort of chipped him, dinked over the top, didn't uh, Santoro? thought he was going to fire it underneath him, which he didn't. So we have to be careful now because they will try and come back at us. Pavlev to Fagioli, who heads it to, for Mazzarani. Ladinetti, Mata out wide to Pavlev. Pavlev gets the cross in and gives the ball away, but it's only gone as far as Visconti, who fires it back in. And uh, they've won the ball. Pavlev to Ladinetti. And Pavlev tidying up again in defence. Gets it forward. Uh, Stepovic and Stepovic puts us back two goals in the front 3-1 Stepovic I'm more than vindicated now in fact it was a divine inspiration on my part that's how I'm claiming it Stepovic blocked that ball 
from the defender and then all he had to do was just stay calm and tuck that away which Stipovic had no problem with at all so we're going to have a go at Zito um, and they have a free kick Zito with the free kick oh and uh he gets his second goal of the game. Monichi. He was unmarked as well. Poor, poor marking. And Farah Bagoli um, was the player that I was trying to think of. I didn't want to pronounce his name. Farah Bagoli. Need to see more of him. Pavlev with the throw in. And Farah Bagoli pass it back out to Pavlev to Mata. Pavlev, he's trying to get... What the heck was you trying to do there? Get rid of the ball. Deary me. And Rav Gallier heads that on, but nobody there. 75 minutes we're heading for. And Monichi... Yeah, we need to be doing a flag early. Looks like he's given everything. So time to make some changes. Do have some tired legs here. And uh, we need to monitor the situation. Stepovic has had a good game. And it's mainly time for Menard to come on now for him. Uh, Fagioli in that attacking midfield role. Um, and Visconti is tired. Who can come on for Visconti? Nobody. So Visconti will probably have to stay out there. Because we haven't got a defensive left sider. Need to really look at this because I think we're, we're suffering from... The fact that we haven't Golfo can play in that attacking midfield role. Or we have Magazoo. My assistant is telling me to bring Golfo on. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got Georgie. Let's go undo. Golfo. Georgie isn't probably the best of choices there and Magazoo Magazoo's probably the best out of the three um, yeah I'm going to bring Magazoo on I'll bring Magazoo on in that position that's used two of our changes for now and we'll just wait and see what happens confirm sub 3-2 the score and let's get out there and chase it a bit more. 80 minutes gone. They've won the ball. And uh, in their half, ball coming forward. Need to be very careful. Zito. Oh, he's pushed the ball through, but they've put it back out wide. Arr, it's come in. And Santoro makes the save. They've kept it in, but Pavlev... Wins the ball. Maserani now. He's cleared it, but... Uh, Maserani cleared it right into the middle field. Why to clear it to midfield? I don't know. Pavlev is now tired. So is Visconti. Yeah, we're going to ignore that. Uh, with 85 minutes gone, I think we might have to look at Pavlev. Um, they can't have two tires. Albertini is obviously a Zappella. Is also. Let's give Zappella a run out and just see how we get on. Team tool. He's composed and let's go and see how we do. Our midfield is tied now. Zappella with the corner and that's been headed out and they've picked up the ball. And we've got back Menar into midfield for Maserani. Maserani holds the ball up. He's waiting for his attackers to come in. Mater out wide now. Mater gets the cross in. And ooh, that's just headed on top of the crossbar. Four minutes of extra time to go. Can we hold on? In fact, we can. A 3 2 win. Our second game in uh, Serie A. B and uh, I'm more than happy with that we matched them up 
we played them. They did well. Uh, 19 shots, 11 on target, a 1.62 XG. But uh, we also did well, 16 shots, nine of which were on target, a 1.48, and pretty even on possession. But we just managed uh, Stepovic, the guy that gave us the win. Well done to him. And that gives us a very good first episode. Haven't lost in that episode. Um, despite being rather open at the back, you've managed to avoid defeat. How do you reflect on your performance? Need a bit of luck here and there, but on the whole, we did well. We defended well, and we were good value for what we got from the game. Um, Stepovic. Yeah, yeah, maybe. And um, we've some important features coming out of Stepovic. Needs to be fresh for. I think that's a fair, fair response. And we finished the episode in fifth. Uh, as it currently stands, four points, just two points behind the leaders there, Medina and uh, Empoli. And, uh, well, there we go. Uh, down the bottom, Mascoli, Vincenza and Citadella. And Benvento, who were expected to go up as champions, have lost both their opening games of the season. Not that that means a great deal, of course. Um, Naro, Bovito, Zavella makes a debut. Uh, Stepovic, I think, won man of the match there. Superb in front of goal. Well done. Um, Post-match conference, of course, we'll send the assistant. Um, that's what we normally do. And what have we got in the box? Uh, 10k unbeaten run continues. Transfer deadline is just one week away now, so we need to round up any more um, incomings. If we do, we'll see on the next episode. Uh, what am I trying to do, Mark? I'm trying to do this. Uh, right, we will come back uh, for... We're, getting, we're not going to jump too far ahead at the minute. Uh, we're going to come back for Laverno and uh, Frosinoni. Frosinoni? Frosinoni. Frosinoni. That's the uh, the two games that we're going to be coming back for next. Um, and then we'll push on a little bit. Um, probably moving down here somewhere. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, so that is our next episode, and uh, we look forward in looking forward to that already. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Keeps you up to date with all future episodes of this particular series and our other series, which is running at the moment, uh, to be a legend. Uh, new episodes of the Sicilian Defence currently released every Tuesday and Friday at 4.15 p.m., and if you want to keep up to date with all that's happening on this channel and more new series released, etc., etc., why not follow me on Twitter? At Just Offside 2 is where you need to be. The next episode is episode 22, and it will be out next Tuesday. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>